Hello everyone. The story I'm going to share today is why did the barber come back to life? A man named Peng lived in Wu Cheng County during the Qing Dynasty. Peng's wife was sick, and his son was only five years old. Peng supported his family by selling silk, and his life was very hard. One day, he carried a roll of silk to the store to sell it. While he argued over the price with the store's owner, he placed his roll of silk on the counter. Several other people also came to sell their silk, so the owner went to take care of them. But the roll of silk Peng placed on the counter suddenly disappeared in the blink of an eye. Peng accused the owner of stealing his silk and said he would sue him. They went to the county court. During the court hearing. The owner said, "My company is worth thousands of thousands of tiers of silver. Why would I steal rolls of silk from him? At that time, I was very busy taking care of many people. I did not even have time to hide the silk." The judge felt that what the owner said was reasonable, so the case was dismissed. In great disappointment and anger, Peng walked back home. Just as he was about to open the door, his little son came out to welcome him and ask for candy. Because Peng was so angry over losing his silk, he kicked the child, and the little boy fell to the ground and died. In great despair, Peng ran to the river, jumped in, and died. After a while, Peng's neighbor found the little boy's dead body in the courtyard. He hurried into the home to tell Peng's wife. At the same time, someone came to tell her that her husband's body was found in the river. The wife had been sick for a long time, hearing one shocking news after another. She could not face losing both her husband and her son. Peng's wife got out of bed, jumped from the building, and died. The government office assigned people to come and help bury the whole family. Three days later. The weather suddenly changed. It began to rain. A sudden explosive clap of thunder shook the earth. Three people were struck by lightning and died in front of Peng's house. As the villagers hurried to help, one of the people struck by lightning came back to life. It was the local barber. To everyone's surprise, the barber spoke and said. Two days ago, Sun Qian noticed there was a roll of silk left on the counter, so he stole it. Xie Yun, who lives across from the store, noticed it and demanded to split the silk in half. Otherwise, he would expose Sun's theft. Sun and Xie later came to my home and asked me to help them sell the silk. Each of them got two thousand coins, and they gave me three hundred coins. When we heard that everyone in Peng's family died, and the county court would not investigate the theft, we all relaxed. We didn't realize that we were hit by lightning. The thunder god caught us in the air and threw us down in front of Peng's house. This is indeed retribution for doing evil things. My two friends died, and one of my legs was taken away. I was brought back to life to tell people not to do bad things to other people. People came closer, and sure enough, the barber only had one leg left. Everyone was shocked. They nodded to each other and said, "The gods indeed exist and are watching us. Anyone who hurts others must receive retribution." Thank you very much for listening to the story. More touching stories will be ready for you if you just subscribe. Thank you again.